This week on the Cruise and Kiwis, we make it to beautiful Falunga. Falunga! Rachel learns the art of pandanus mat weaving. I did that bit. And Rob and Rachel go head to head in catching mud crabs. Yes! That is so <laughs> It is so impressive. Thank you. Flunga! <laughs> <laughs> We are here. We've had a great sail. Yeah, so we're going around that point there, just there, and then we go around the back and then come in to the lagoon from there. It's a slightly tricky entry into the lagoon. It's a about 50 meter wide pass, but if you get it wrong at the wrong time of the tides, there can be standing waves and they can be uh, fairly challenging. We think we're going to have about a half tide going in. We know there's 10, about 10 boats in there, so we might even go on VHF if we need to and get some advice. I am a poor, wayfaring stranger, traveling through this world of Calling all sailing vessels anchored in Palunga. This is sailing vessel Javelin, cruising Kiwis. We are 45 minutes away from entering the pass at Palunga and wondering anyone has any positive or negative views about that. Uh, Realise half time. Over. Just a kitchen. Right about now, it's a couple hours after the low tide. Talking to the locals, they said the same thing I read in the cruising guide about the best time is between about 2 hours and 15 minutes after low tide. The slack water and coming in on a rising tide is better than with the current flowing out. Oh, Roger, that. thank you. That's, that's, uh, we've read that in the cruising guides too, but we've had um, contrary views uh, from various sources, so that's good to have that confirmed. Sounds like we've timed really well. Yeah, we've timed it, moved <laughs> it perfectly actually. Fluke! Yeah. So, the morning of day two in Flunga. We're off. Eating a banana. Rachel's eating a banana. And we're off to do Sebu Sebu. So here goes. Start the first time, you watch. Another island, yeah. another Sebu Sebu. Shout out to Ben and Ashley on Naha. We watch their channel. Yeah, thanks, Look at that man. big signature. Wow, that's a big B they get they got there, Ben. <laughs> big B. There's, there's a story behind that. This is a unicycle and they're going on a one-way trip. To, to, on a journey. I, I see a long journey ahead of these two. After Savu Savu, we made our way to meet our host family. Everybody in Falanga gets a host family. Yeah. And this is our host family. This is Salotti. They baked us some fresh bread. She knew we were coming. And we're having some lemon tea. And her husband, Minnie, who's a, a carver. Oh, that smells delicious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is for you. You will take it back to oh. the boat. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and it's still warm. 
Wow. Yeah, I, Smells I good. <laughs> now the boys love bread, so oh. they'll be very pleased. So in Tulang, huh? you've got any butter or something like that. So you can put butter in your boat and you put the butter on your mm. bread. I give it to mom. Yes. We spent many more days enjoying Salotti and Minnie's company, making coconut oil, boiling water, pick up the coconut, she said boiling water for that. singing on the boat, and Salotti still speaks to us even though Rob tried to get her to take the nonny challenge. <laughs> Salotti, come on, we call this the nonny challenge. Everyone must have the nonny challenge. Mm. Looks so good. It smells bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it tastes good. No. <laughs> Salotti, mm. come on, come on. You know it's right. The people who watch this video need to see you eat this. <laughs> Salotti, <laughs> come on. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna eat it. I'll eat it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's on your fingers. Oh, mm. <laughs> yeah, it smells. It smells yeah. Mm. It's an amazing smell, isn't it? It really is. You've got some up on the... Yeah, I've got some more on the boat. Yeah. yeah. It's rotting away. Mm. Yeah, you've grown okay. hairs. Well, while we wait. Uh, I, had a, I had one, I had a bit this morning, actually. Ah! Mm. Mm. But it's a medicine. Mm, it's medicine. It's a medicine. Mm. I've never tasted it. I'm going to try it. It's really sweet. It's um, quite spicy. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Horrible. Mm. Then you gotta spit the pips. I didn't get a pip, thank goodness. Oh, loads of pips. Mm. See, then, the, then they'll plant more I live trees. Forever now, though. I'll split the pips over there so they grow more trees. Mm. It's pretty rank. Heading into the village this morning on my own because it's Women's Day, which is every Tuesday. The women in the village get together and each week they go around and they help each other. So this week it's Salotte's sister. We do whatever the person needs doing. If it's tidying or making mats, making a broom, helping out, cooking, coconut oil, I don't know. I don't know till you get there and they tell you what they need. So I'm joining in the village life today with the women and if I get there in time, Slotty says I can ring the bell to call the women. I better start running because I'm a bit late. Yes, that's loud. Salotti is the head woman of Falanga and as such she and I prepared the village hall. Today's activity would be preparing and weaving pandanus leaf mats, a labour intensive job from start to finish. First the pandanus leaves are cut, then dried, then wrapped and boiled and then dried once more. The dried leaves are made more flexible by scraping with a shell and then they are split and finally they are now ready for weaving. One mat can take a month to make and depending on its use, lasts up to two years. I was excited to be allowed a quick go at weaving. The fruits of my labour would grace a floor here in Falunga long after we had departed. I did that bit. <laughs> Okay, so we're back into the village. It's Sunday and we are going to church. And after church we're going to have a meal with our family, Salote and Bene. But Rachel's been in the kitchen this morning making a tiramisu and also a potato salad to contribute. And uh, oh, there's, there's the pigs. I was wondering where the pigs were. Anyway. Here we are, we're getting close to the church now, the big day. Yeah. Where Rachel can plead for forgiveness for all her sins. All my sins? <laughs> oh my gosh. She's been called in. Here it goes. Here we go. Oh, the 
Seaweed with the fish and oh, vegetable yeah. and then roti with curry. Oh, oh, that's the food today. That's a wow. wow. <laughs> and the crab that we yes. catch This is the crab that we caught. Yeah. Previous afternoon we had joined Salotti and Bongi to catch crabs for Sunday lunch. After a quick demonstration Pretty from Bongi. Just, um, just press it like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's in, like if he's this. in the open. Yeah, cool. Okay, nice. It was all go for the great crab catching competition. So impressive. Thank you. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel is the hunter gatherer in this family. <laughs> I was trying to, you know, filming and doing this is a, it's a full time job. <laughs> I should be wearing white and you can't afford no ring. So, this is our last day here in Falanga. We're just walking into the village for one last time. And I just thought I'd do a quick overview of things I like about Falanga. Firstly, this walk. I love this walk. It's a 10 to 15 minute stroll from the anchorage to the village. It is just the most lovely place to wander. Quite serene and it gives you a little bit of exercise, which is all good. The anchorage in Flunga is fantastic. One of the best anchorages, safe, secure. In fact, the interesting thing with this island is it's bigger than you realize. When you look on the map, come inside and go, wow, this, it's really big. And there's lots and lots of places to anchor. Heaps. Snorkeling's been great at the pass. It's pretty impressive coral. In fact, the fish life there, the fish, it's like an aquarium. Beautiful. Another thing I like about Falanga is the volleyball. The volleyball. That was good fun. The people. Very friendly, very helpful, always wanting to feed us and give us food and fruit and uh, um, Minnie did the bowl, redid the bowl for us, gave us um, necklaces for everyone. Even one for Finn who's not even here. Just lovely people, lovely lifestyle. That's the next thing, the lifestyle here in Falunga. Fantastic, no fences, no gates. Just everyone sharing a piece of land with a nice feeling of calmness and tranquility. Yeah, and community. And community. There's a real feeling of community. Next week on the Cruising Kiwis. Should we help this boat? So the question is, is this a con? I don't think it's a con. What would they be getting out of it? We take a long walk and the kindness of strangers fills our larder. Oh, wow. He's a thick, quite thick, eh? thick man. <laughs> Mr. Thick Man. Whoa! He's big! He's big. Oh. Okay, put him down, put him down! <laughs>